Each year, families descended from the original mission residents create altars for a Dia de los Muertos display in the Mission San Jose. A San Antonio woman shares her family story and what this site means to her. But special for me was being able to go into the backyard and just sit there for hours, you know, in the summertime and just, you know, listen to the birds. And, and mostly for me, it was the ability to sit at my back bedroom window any evening I wanted to and watch the sunset on that bell tower. Brenda Pacheco reflects living here at Mission San Jose. This was my home. That property was my home. My grandparents um, on the Guerrero side had lived here for many, many years prior to that. Um, they are all part or members of the descendants of the First Families of San Antonio. Pacheco visits often and attends church here. And every year, she honors and remembers her family at the Mission San Jose Granary. She creates an altar or ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos, celebrating the lives of her loved ones. Today I'm honoring my great-grandparents, Feliz and Antonia uh, Romero. Also my grandmother, Celia Romero, Celia Romero Escobar. They are actual descendants of San Jose Mission for at least um, 300 years. The community is invited to visit and view the Mission community's altars that tell stories that go back centuries. The altars are filled with marigolds to sugar skulls. All the items have symbolic meanings. For my great-grandfather, because he was a vaquero, a real vaquero, I included some barbed wire because he was out on the range and, you know, they had barbed wire, some hay, of course. You can visit here daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for free. The display will be up until November 2nd. Pacheco is grateful to have the opportunity to share this with others. It's an opportunity for me to tell my story, my family's story, to the entire world when they come by to visit the mission. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.